and welcome back to another vlog. It is Wednesday morning. We're starting off midweek this week. I had every intention of doing like a full weekly vlog this week, but mom life just kind of got ahead of me. But we're starting today and I got like maybe four or five hours of sleep last night. Mr. Jack was up every like hour and a half, I wanna say. I was maybe getting like an hour stretch at a time. Um, so I am very tired. We did like sleep in till nine o'clock this morning, but it's all very like intermittent sleep, so it's not good sleep. So I am so, so exhausted. I need a coffee ASAP. They just opened up a seven brew coffee in my city, like right next to my house. It's really dangerous. I could like walk here. So I'm gonna try it out. I don't think I've ever actually had seven brew, but I see them everywhere. It's just like a drive-through coffee spot. So I am gonna get one of their like pumpkin spice blondies, see how it is. It's right next to a Starbucks. <laughs> like literally the buildings are side by side. So we'll see if I like this a little bit more than Starbucks. I honestly haven't been like picking up coffee too often lately. I've just been making coffee at home, but it's kind of nice just honestly to get out of the house too obviously I have Mr. Jack with me in the back seat he's sleeping right now um it's kind of nice just to have like a daily outing like going somewhere and I have to run to Walgreens anyway to pick up prescriptions so I'm like since I'm out of the house I might as well stop and get a coffee it just gives me something to look forward to and also gives me like a little boost of energy so let me know if you guys like seven brew if you have one in your town hi good how are you doing great do you have a phone number with us and what can I get for you I'm gonna do the pumpkin spice blondie sure small medium or large uh medium and iced he is out. He usually does not like sitting still. So once I got into the drive-thru and was sitting still because there's like a huge line, he started freaking out. I'm like, oh no, this might be a really long drive-thru. But he actually kind of like soothed himself and fell asleep. I'm so proud of him. I just started hanging these little toys on his car seat. I feel like he's finally getting old enough to start like grabbing for things and looking at things and playing with things, which is so fun. He's growing up so fast, you guys. He's getting so big. I don't know if you can tell, but he looks so big in his car seat now like when I look in the camera I don't even recognize him he looks so big like where did my newborn baby go I posted about this over on my Instagram yesterday but I've just been like so nostalgic for the present lately like I miss him being this small already and he's still teeny but I feel like time is just going by so fast like every single day I swear he grows and changes so much it's like I don't even recognize him he does not look like the newborn baby that we brought home anymore every single day he's just growing so much and also his personality is changing like he's just changing so much every day which is so fun don't get me wrong like I love seeing him grow and change but it's also it's very bittersweet because I just miss like my teeny tiny little newborn that I would like snuggle up on my chest now he's like getting too big to even like snuggle on my chest on the couch he's only like 10 pounds like he's still teeny but I don't know it's just crazy how fast babies grow and change and it makes me so sad but I don't know it's definitely bittersweet I don't know it's just I've been kind of like in my feels about it lately just kind of like realizing how fast time goes by especially when you have kids it's like you only get so many years with them you know and I feel like we're already two months in and I feel like I blinked and it's been two months and I already know I'm gonna blink and it's gonna be another two months and then it's gonna be a year and it's gonna be two years and it's just yeah time just flies lately the older you get time flies and now that I have a baby it's like I'm really realizing how precious time is and yeah let me know if you're a mom and if you also get that like nostalgic feeling when you're like living in the moment but it's like you already miss it even though you're still in it like I already miss him being a tiny little baby and he still is How's it going? Good. Good. it's always so awkward whenever they spot my camera and they like give me a look like they I feel like they think I'm trying to like catch them with something by like filming them I'm like no don't worry I'm just filming for YouTube awesome thank you so much yeah you have a good one you too Okay, I ordered a medium, and this thing is literally giant. I mean, this is like bigger than a venti at Starbucks. It was $10. Well, I got a muffin top too, so I'm not quite sure exactly how much this drink was. Probably comparable to Starbucks. Like I said, this is the pumpkin spice blondie, so let's give it a try. Mm, oh my gosh, it's really good. I got some cold foam on top too. I'm not kidding. I don't know if you guys can tell like how giant this drink is compared to my head size not only is it like tall but it's super like wide it's huge so you definitely get your money's worth i feel like like no way am i gonna drink all this i got a medium thinking it'd be more like a grande size at starbucks but this is like a venti size i can't imagine how big their 
larges are if this is a medium. It's really good though. I have a pickup for like. Oh, they put it back then. Okay. Can I, I get it refilled? Get it ready again for you. Do you want to come back later this afternoon or tomorrow? Sure. Just got back home and decided to go on a little walk because it is so nice outside. It's like mid 70s all week this week and sunny, but the air is still pretty crisp. So we're just gonna go on a nice little walk around the neighborhood. This one usually takes a nap in the morning, so he slept for about 15 minutes in the car, hoping he can kind of finish his morning nap while we walk. He loves his stroller and car seat, which I'm very grateful for. He usually passes out like the second that we start driving or the second that we go on a walk, so he will probably sleep throughout this entire walk. I know I got some questions on Instagram about this stroller. This is the Chico Bravo stroller. We personally love it. It is like exactly what we need. Oh, look at him, he's like smiling in there. Anytime he starts falling asleep, he starts smiling, it's so cute. But yeah, we love it. It comes with the car seat and the stroller. It's like a three-in-one, I believe. I can link the exact one that we have down below. It also comes in like different colors. We just got the all black one. It has like this little leather detail. I feel like this is definitely one of the nicer, more affordable strollers. We definitely looked into the more like, bougie strollers, like the Nuna, the Duna, and all those um but those are just so so expensive and we couldn't rationalize spending that money on a stroller when we feel like a more affordable one can get us the same result so yeah this one is like half the price of those and we love it try to get out on daily walks and we're lucky we have such like a nice pretty neighborhood that we can go walk around the sidewalks are a little <laughs> rough around here so it definitely gets kind of like an off-roading experience. But that's also why I like this stroller because it has really nice like bouncy wheels. All right, we are going to finish our walk. I walk for like 30 minutes and then head back home. All right, I just made it home. Jack is taking a little nap over there on the couch. And I am about to continue to work on some scrapbooking that I just started yesterday. I started scrapbooking putting together some stuff that I got from Jack's hospital stay, and then I got started working on my pregnancy photo album. How cute are his little footprints? I just found this in his little hospital packet that we got whenever we took him home. I'm gonna go add this to the pregnancy album. I also have his little tag that was on his leg whenever he was in the hospital. I posted over on Instagram some pictures of the scrapbooking that I was doing yesterday, and you guys were asking how I printed off pictures. I printed it off using this um, like at home photo printer from the brand Leanne. It's so cool. I've talked about it before. It's so handy, especially if you like to scrapbook. I'll insert some clips of me using it here. I'm using this at home photo printer from a brand called Leanne that I've shown in videos before. I used to use it for classroom projects and now I love using it for scrapbooking at home. This is the Leanne four by six photo printer. Instead of paying tons of money like I used to to print photos from the store, this prints photos instantly from home or your office or wherever you are. I'll show you guys a clip of how it works you can see it's super compact in size easy quick to use and it seriously prints your photos in minutes I'll show right here how to load the paper that it comes with. The best thing about it is that it is inkless printing, so you don't need to worry about dirtying your hands or getting ink anywhere on the table. It is completely mess-free, which is really nice too. The last layer that goes on is a protective layer, which acts as a protective covering on the photo that can protect it from fingerprints, water, dust, scratches, or from fading. I personally just love how easy and quick this is to use. All you have to do is plug it in and within minutes it does all the work for you. In the package it'll come with 20 pieces of the photo paper and one ink cartridge. Its built-in Wi-Fi network allows you to connect your phone or laptop to it immediately and it can support up to five devices at a time, whether that's an iPhone, an Android, or even your laptop. I just love it. I use it all the time. Whether you also like to scrapbook or maybe you just want to print out some photos to have around the house, I highly recommend investing in this Lian photo printer. It'll save you so much time. If you guys are interested I will have their website and this exact printer that I'm using linked down in the description box below.
next day, we had kind of a late start this morning. It's 11.30 right now. Jack woke me up like so early this morning. It just depends. Like sometimes he will sleep and sleep and sleep until like 9 or 10 and like I'm the one that's like getting us up. Other times at like 6 or 7 in the morning, he just like, his eyes pop open and he's just like wide awake and ready to start the day. And I always look over at him and I'm like, oh, shoot, because I can always tell when he's like wide awake, ready to start the day. So that's him if you can hear him grunting back there. I had to start driving because he does not like whenever we sit still in the car. If we're driving, he's good. Like he loves being in the car, but when we sit still, he freaks out. So we got up bright and early. We played. He, he was awake for like over an hour. I was just trying to like do things to keep him entertained because he was so awake. Um, and then we took like a little nap together. I just brought him back into bed and we kind of just like napped in bed together for about an hour. I never get like good sleep whenever I'm sleeping next to him just because I'm anxious about like sleeping right next to him. And I'm like always checking to make sure he's okay. I feel like I open my eyes like every two minutes <laughs> just to check on him. But yeah, we got in like a little extra nap. That's just how the days have been going so far. We kind of just get a really late start into the day. So if you have a newborn, just know it's okay to have kind of a late start into your day because to me like being well rested is more important than anything like I'm a better mom when I'm well rested and not exhausted but I am going to drink an energy drink this morning I'm drinking one of these Alani News this is the cosmic wonder dust one I love these whenever I taught I would drink these all the time taste so good I was so sad whenever I found out I was pregnant I stopped drinking them I just stopped drinking caffeine in general but I really miss these. So this is my first one that I've had since I found out I was pregnant. Anyway, we are off on our first outing of the day. We are actually going to visit my brother. I've mentioned this before, but my brother and his wife, my sister-in-law live three minutes down the road from Kyle and I. We're really, really lucky that we live so close to them. Um, and he's just really excited to have a nephew so close because I have two brothers, my oldest brother, has two kids, but he's in the military, so he's never lived in our state before. Whenever he had his first daughter, he lived in Virginia Beach. Now he has a son and they live in Nevada. Like we've just never lived close enough to be able to see them all the time, like as much as we'd want to. We still see them a few times a year, but it's just not the same as like having them down the street. So my brother is just like so excited to have Jack, like his nephew right down the street. So we try to see them as much as possible. So I told him I would stop by his house today on his lunch break and that way he can get some Jack snuggles in. Jack has been kind of in a little bit of a fuss today. I think I mentioned that yesterday. He's just been kind of in like a fussier mood. I think it's because he's going through his first like developmental milestone. Sorry if you guys don't have a baby and you're like not into this stuff, but basically like the first year of a baby's life, they go through different leaps is what they call them. I think like 10 different leaps. There's an app called Wonder Weeks and it kind of like walks you through it, but he's entering his first leap this week, which just means he could be like extra fussy um, because he's learning new things, learning new skills, just developing, his brain's developing, and that just makes them a little bit more fussy and a little bit more tired than normal. I've definitely noticed a difference in him this week, but anyway, we are going to my brother's house, probably just gonna hang out there for like an hour, and then I have to head to Target to pick up a few things. I need to pick up some more formula, some more pacifiers, the pacifiers that we love, the Tommy Tippy ones. So good. I only have like a couple of them and I want to have them all over the house and like in our car. So I'm going to buy another pack of those. Um, I need to get just like a few groceries for the week and a couple other things. So we're going to run to Target. It'll be Jack's first time in Target. So I'll take you guys along with us. And yeah, we'll just see where the day takes us. never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel 
so free Oh my sweet baby Jack down for a nap right now. I just fed him a bottle. I want to show you guys what I got at Target because I'm so excited. Um, first of all, I just went there to get a few things. Like I said, I needed to get some more formula. Right now we are using the Bubs formula. It's an Australian brand, um, like goat milk formula. He has a very sensitive stomach and struggles with reflux. I thought goat milk would maybe be a little bit more gentle on his stomach and help with his reflux but I don't know if I've really noticed that much of a difference if I'm honest he still just like spits up a lot grunts a lot has trouble with gas and belly problems so I don't know let me know if you have a baby that also struggles with reflux and what you did to help them we do give him probiotics and we give him like daily gas drops in his bottles but I think it's just a developmental thing and we'll just have to kind of like wait for it to pass when his digestive system gets a little bit more mature around like three or four months but Either way, we switched him from Infamil to Bub's formula. Um, we're just trying out some goat formulas right now. I couldn't find Bub's at Target, so I got Kindamil instead, which is a really well-known goat formula. Um, they also have it in milk base, like whole milk, but they didn't have Bub's, so I figure this is kind of like the closest thing to it. I hope that it's okay for me to give this to him, like substitute this for Bub's because... I am completely out of bubs, so we will just see, but I do know a lot of people have Kindamil, use it, and love it. Like I said, I also got some of these pacifiers. They are the Tommy Tippy ones. I like these ones that are glow in the dark. I don't know. There's just something about these ones. They just stay in his mouth a lot better. He prefers them to other pacifiers. And then I went shopping in the boy section, as you guys saw. I typically can have some like self-control when I go into the baby clothes section. I really did just plan on going in there to browse but they have such cute fall clothes out right now i could not help myself honestly jack doesn't have a lot of like fancy clothes like almost all of the clothes that i have like accumulated for him are sleepers onesies or just like little like t-shirts so i figured with the holidays coming up and we probably have a lot of like family events you know like fun things to go to i would get, get him a few like more fancy outfits so the first one i got is this little set it's this cute little flannel jacket it's like really nice thick flannel it comes with a little onesie for him to wear underneath and then this pair of joggers which is just so cute i feel like this set is adorable i got it in three months i figured he could wear this for like thanksgiving or christmas something like that but yeah i just love this whole set together i think this will be so cute on him i also got this little overalls set it just comes with this little like long sleeve onesie and then just this like cute little army green overall on top i got this one in three months as well i feel like this will fit him closer to thanksgiving or christmas this would be big on him right now but i do feel like in a couple months it'll fit him really good hopefully by the way these are carter's brand and then i got him this cute little sweater set this is by the brand grayson mini i could not pass this up this is actually a newborn size but i definitely feel like this is like stretchy enough that this will fit him in a couple months as well hopefully but it's this cute little knit sweater it has like little pockets on the arms and then comes with these little knit pants i cannot i know it says newborn size but i feel like because it's like knit that they're really stretchy and i feel like they'll fit him hopefully for the next like couple months we'll get like some wear out of them this is just like such a cute fall outfit if it's like a little chilly out we can put him in this little knit set I can't wait to see him in it. And then lastly, I got another cute little knit set. This actually, I left the baby section with just these three outfits and then I was shopping and this was like an outfit that someone discarded on an aisle in the formula aisle. I went to go pick up the formula and someone just like had this sitting out, like was lazy and set it on one of the aisles. And it caught my eye. I was like, oh my gosh, wait, that set is so cute. Um, it's again, newborn size, but I do feel like he could easily fit in this for like the next couple months. Um, it's just like this really cute orange. I don't know if this is actually for boys. Now that I'm looking at it, this might be like a girl set, but I feel like it's pretty gender neutral. Cute little orange plaid sweater. And then it comes with these little joggers. It's like burnt orange color. And then what sold me was it comes with this matching little teddy hat. I feel like this would be so cute on Thanksgiving. I don't know. Either way, he's probably going to wear this like a bunch of times. But yeah, 
so cute so yeah if you have a target nearby they had so many cute outfits out right now for boys and girls not only did they have like newborn outfits but they also had a bunch of like toddler outfits out right now for like halloween and fall and then i also just picked up some vaseline because i've been meaning to stock up i like to keep vaseline in my nightstand to put on every night before bed it's just like the best chapstick in my opinion just keeps your lips like so soft that is my little target haul i'm so excited i cannot wait to see him in those outfits Jack is quickly going up in size with his bottles. Right now he takes four ounces every two to three hours during the day and he's about to go up to five or six ounces shortly. I can already tell four is not doing enough for him. So I ordered a couple more of these Dr. Brown's bottles. I actually got the glass bottles, but these ones are the eight ounce ones. So double that size. That way we can start giving him a little bit bigger bottles. But yeah, these have definitely been our favorite bottles that we've tried with him. I know there's a lot of other good ones out there, but this is supposed to be anti-colic and help with gas and reflux since it has that little filter in the middle to like help filter out the air bubbles. Um, but yeah, so these are the bottles that we've been using ever since he started taking a bottle whenever he was born. So just going to wash them real quick in some soapy water. This is the soap that we use. It's by Dapple Baby, their bottle and dish soap. I really like it. And then I'm just going to give it a quick run through our um, dryer and sterilizer. This is by Baby Brezza. I did not purchase this. This I actually borrowed from my sister-in-law, which I'm so grateful for because we literally use this 10 times a day, not even exaggerating. It's so, so helpful. Um, I heard that you really only need to like sterilize bottles until babies are about six months old, so I doubt we'll use it this often forever, but it'll be really nice just to have for the next few months. So just going to quickly wash them and then sterilize them. cook so unfortunately for him when he's at work he gets store-bought pasta <laughs> just prepped a bunch of bottles for the evening have a candle lit making some dinner baby is asleep I'm feeling good <laughs>
Okay, it is a few days later. I am sitting on the couch right now. Mr. Jack is sleeping on the couch right next to me. He's just like lounging. He fell asleep during a feed, so I'm just letting him kind of chill over there. If you hear some mumbling, groaning, and snoring, that's just him. He's a very loud sleeper. Um, but I just wanted to come on and chat. I was vlogging the other day. It was like a really rainy day. We just like stayed home during the day, and I was just going to continue the vlog as normal, get like some cute clips of us, but... It was a really hard day for me, just like mentally, my mental health, I really struggled that day and I didn't want to come on here and just act like everything was like sunshine and rainbows and perfect because I do want to make sure now that I'm back on social media that I'm sharing like the realities of mom life and postpartum and having a newborn baby and not just acting like it's perfect every day because when I was freshly postpartum and I logged on to social media, that was really hard for me to see. I saw so many mom accounts posting these just like perfect day in the lives with their baby. And I know videos and reels and stuff like that are really fun to make, just like days in the life vlogs. And I know that they're literally showing just like 30 seconds of their day and it's just such a small snippet. And obviously like the stuff that I post, I'm not always going to post all the bad or the times that he's crying or screaming or the times that I'm crying like frustrated personally just want to make sure that I am coming on here being real and portraying mom life as what it is it's beautiful and amazing but it's also really hard and I post on Instagram today that I've been realizing like being a mom and being a stay-at-home mom it's not like a linear path there's gonna be lots of ups and downs and the good thing about it is that every day is different and babies are ever changing so if you have a really bad day one day the next day could be amazing it's literally different every single day but there are some really hard days and i do want to be honest about that the other day was just a hard day for me it was just cold and storming and raining outside we weren't able to go outside all day i was stuck inside all day long and i knew that whenever i decided to be a stay-at-home mom that it was definitely going to be kind of like a mental hurdle for me to be home alone all day with a baby because I do rely on getting out of the house, interacting with people, socializing, having a job, doing things for me to keep myself happy. So I knew that being a stay-at-home mom would come with its challenges because I'm not getting out of the house every day and socializing as much as I was. If I do get out of the house, it's like a very brief outing sometimes. And then you're home with a baby all day, which although that is amazing and so fun, I just love being with him all day every day it's not adult interaction you know it's just different so yeah that day it was just really hard for me and he's been going through just like a fussy phase which I really I know I've already talked about that a lot in this video um it's just been really hard on me personally just it's hard enough being home with a baby all day right but when you're home with like a fussy crying baby all day that can be really hard and so yeah that was just a really hard day for me and I didn't want to come on here and just vlog just to vlog but I also was not really in like the mindset to be just like coming on here and chatting so yeah it's been a few days I've had time to decompress Kyle was home over the weekend which was really nice I found that when Kyle's home and I have support I have a partner it's obviously a lot better whenever I do have that support here and just like someone else to parent with um so that was really nice just like having him here over the weekend and it's Monday now and I'm back to just like being by myself with Jack but I'm definitely in like a better mindset today like I said it's just a lot of ups and downs I'm sure there's still a big hormonal shift going on since I'm still pretty freshly postpartum that could have a lot to do with my emotions being all over the place too but yeah I just wanted to kind of share that because I know a lot of moms follow me a lot of moms watch my videos and I never ever want to come on here and make anybody think that every single day is perfect and that Jack's perfectly happy every single day and never fusses never cries naps you know like I just feel like it's important that as a mom I'm sharing the reality so that I can connect with other moms um because I would want to see someone sharing the realities the same way like I said I'm not going to like dwell on the negatives and the days there are so many positives and I do love being home with him um so I do want to highlight that as well but I feel like I need to show both sides you know um and yeah it's just been it's been hard and I I want to say this in a way that doesn't come across like bad but Jack has been kind of like a harder 
baby for us. I feel bad saying that because I love him so much. I love him to pieces. He's like the sweetest boy. I just love him so much. I never want to, you know, make it seem like these days have been just like all bad. But he has just been kind of a harder baby. He has struggled with reflux really bad since he was born. And reflux, if you guys know, you know that brings so many challenges just to every day with feeding um, and just like his overall mood. And he's uncomfortable a lot. He's gassy, he has stomach problems, spit up everywhere. Um, so that's been really hard. He's also been dealing with a lot of congestion, which is normal for newborns, but apparently since he was born early, preemie babies typically do struggle a little bit more with things like reflux and congestion just because their bodies are a little bit more immature and they take a little bit longer to mature. He's just like a little bit behind. I'm sure him coming early and being close to being considered preemie does attribute to him having a lot of these problems. But yeah, it just has been really hard. Um, and I don't want to like sugarcoat that at all it's definitely not been easy every day but I still wouldn't trade this for the world I think that's also why I'm like hesitant to share any of the negatives just because I am so happy and so blessed and so grateful for this part of my life and for him but of course I always do want to just like be real and show both sides anyways he is slowly waking up over there I just wanted to come on and chat about that kind of chat about how I've been feeling I find it's really hard sometimes like opening up and being vulnerable about mom life just because people have so many opinions and I never want to come across ungrateful um but I feel like there's so many of you like I said that are moms and so many of you have reached out to me lately that I just I love connecting with other moms it just makes me feel so much less alone so if there's even one of you that feel less alone by watching my videos then it'll be worth sharing and being vulnerable on here so yeah, I am going to end off this video here though. I am going to start up a new weekly vlog this week. I hope you guys are enjoying these weekly vlogs, just sharing my daily life with a newborn baby. It is not easy every day, but it is so fun and so worth it and so rewarding and I just love sharing it with you guys. So yeah, anyway, I just wanted to say thank you and I love you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.